Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful geometry math problem. We have given a right angle triangle whose two sides are given. And there is a square inside the triangle. Our target, our job is to find out the area of the square. Now how can we solve this math problem? To find out the area of the square here, we need the length of its one side. Now to find out the length of its one side, let us suppose each side of this square is equal to x. Now look at the base of this triangle. Here this base is 12 units. But this length is x units. So what will be the remaining length? This remaining length will be 12 minus x units. Now look at the height and perpendicular of this right angle triangle. This is 6 units. And this length is x units. So what will be this remaining length? This remaining length will be 6 minus x units. But also look at to this one triangle, this small triangle and this bigger triangle. Here the angles at these two points, they are right angles, 90 degrees angle. And also look at to these two angles, the angles at this point and the, at this point, they are also equal and same because they are corresponding angles. So by angle angle properties of triangles, these two triangles, this triangle and this bigger triangle are similar. If these two triangles are similar, then the ratio among their corresponding sides will be equal. So here we will take the ratio of their bases and their heights. The base of this small triangle is x and the base of this big triangle is 12 units. So let us take out their ratio. So this will become x divided by 12 is equal to, I will take the ratio among their heights, their perpendicular. So the height of the smaller triangle is 6 minus 6. And the height of the big triangle is 6 units. So this will become 6 minus x divided by 6. So this will become 6. And here we will solve this one equation for the value of x. Here we will cross multiply these two numbers. So this will become 6x is equal to, this will become 12 times 6 minus x. Now we will divide both sides by 6. So this equation will become 6 and 6 will be cancelled. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So this will become x is equal to 2 times this one number. So let's multiply 2 with this. So 2 times 6 is 12. This will become 12 minus 2 times x is 2x. Now we will take this 2x to the left hand side. So this will become 2x plus x is simply 3x is equal to 12. Now dividing both sides by 3 it gives him x is equal to 4. So therefore the length of each side of this square is 4 units. So here this x is 4. So therefore the area of this square will become, that is very easy. Area of this square that will become its length side square. So its length of side is 4. So this will become 4 square and 4 square is simply 16. So therefore the area of this square is 16 unit square. So finally, the area of this square is that is 16 square units and that is our final answer.